I'm going to show you how to deploy your Comfy workflows onto Comfy Deploy. We've helped hundreds of companies from startups to enterprises do so. My name's Nick, co-founder of Comfy Deploy, and our users use us to collaborate on workflows easier, power internal tools, and build product experiences for their users. And we make that easy. So we're here in my local Comfy UI. I've just finished building my fantastic workflow, um, and now I want to get it onto Comfy Deploy. And First thing we do is export this workflow. I'm going to name it my workflow here, and then go and head over to Comfy Deploy. I'm in my demo org over here, and you'll see that I share it with my co-founder, Benny. Um, I'm going to start and just create a workflow. Let me just drag in the workflow I just exported. Name this Nick's workflow and say, here we go. So now we're in the custom node setup. So basically we pull from Comfy UI Manager as our source of truth. Um, we've identified a couple nodes that aren't from the base Comfy UI, specifically IP adapter, unified loader, and IP adapter over here. Um, there are two Comfy packs here. One is Jake Upgrade, the other is IP Adapter Plus. They both use the same names for the nodes. Um, I know it's IP Adapter Plus. We just default to usually what has the most stars, and we can continue from here. I'm going to select a machine. So a machine, basically, you could think of as your environment that you're going to run Comfy UI in. Um, I have a bunch of existing machines, and you'll see that I have a couple that already have IP adapter, so I could just use this. But for this, I'm going to use a new machine just to show you how that's done. Next, we're in the model check. So models we know and love. Um, it seems like I have a couple images that I'm missing and a checkpoint. Um, I know specifically what this checkpoint is. It's a civet model, Dream Shaper, very popular. Um, what I can do is start a download and this gets shared across the organization into my model browser. So I know this goes into checkpoints. I can select civet here. You'll see we have a bunch of options. So you can like add it from your particular places as you do. Um, and I'm gonna click download there. That's gonna have a different name, but no worries. We're gonna let that download, start downloading. Um, and that's gonna take a little bit, but we don't have to be here while that downloads. And for these images, we'll probably deal with that inside a Comfy UI. We'll get to that. Next, we'll go into the machine settings. Last step, um, let's call this next machine. Um, and so there are a bunch of things here, but essentially the nodes that we found from this workflow, we've pulled out, put them into those selected nodes. You can add more nodes if you'd like, and this is all configurable in the future as well. So um, there's no worries about like having to figure out everything right here, right now. You can edit this in the future. Um, for the Comfy UI version, let's just like keep it as this, um, but you can bump it up as far as you want or even go back by putting in a hash um, of Comfy UI. Um, cool. And here the GP is A10G, but you'll see that that's easily configurable as well. Let's finish that. That machine's gonna go build in the background and I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so our machine's finished building. We can now start Comfy UI. Uh, come to my environment, you'll see that took around a minute and a second. Um, back into Comfy UI, let's start that. Let's pick the A100 just because we're on the cloud now. Might as well use uh, use what the cloud's got. And so the reason why we're starting Comfy UI here is because we want to make sure that the workflow runs. And there's no, no easier way than like working inside of Comfy UI to do that. Um, once we know that it runs, we'll be able to save um, that workflow as a new workflow version, and we'll be able to send that to our teammates and uh, build an API out of that. So here, let's queue this. This won't work because we're probably missing a couple things. Fantastic. Um, so our dream shaper is not in the list. However, if we remember what we just did, we'll see that dream shaper eight is there available now. Uh, this load image is not available, but I do have this and that image. For now, I think that's good enough. So let's cue that. Actually, I'm going to do the light here. Let's cue that over here. And this is going to start working. Uh, you know, this is just raw Comfy UI, as you expect, but just in the cloud. Um, 
Here you'll see the actual logs. Maybe move myself out the way. Um, and boom, all right, we have some beautiful purple bottles here. Um, that looks great to me. So I'm gonna save this version. Working. And what that does is basically create a new version, kind of like a history, a git, a git commit, so to speak, of your workflow. So you'll never have to be scared about losing progress here and there. I can go out of Comfy right now. Um, and since we have a working version, we can do a lot now. Um, let's go through first from top to bottom here, um, our request. So this is the observability portion of Comfy Deploy. Um, we have one run, the first one we did, where it did not run. Uh, you'll see that we have the actual raw. Um, we actually actually we don't have the raw because it was inside of Comp UI, but we have some grouped errors here, um, so we can figure out like what exactly happened. Um, no outputs obviously because it failed. But then if we come here into the successful run, we'll see that our workflow um, came out with an output. Hopping back into Comp UI. The reason why this is the way it is, is because, oh, let me just run that again so that I can show you with an image, is because this is a save image. So if I had done a preview image here, for example, cue another one, this will not save. And the way we do this is basically, like if it does save to your outputs folder locally, we'll basically save it. So images, video, 3D, it all works, uh, no problem and we'll be able to basically see that reflected in our requests. Come back to requests, see our more beautiful purple bottles, and voila. Uh, we have a run button up here. This basically lets you simulate an API request. Um, you'll see that I have no inputs, but we can get, we'll get to that, and how we can basically configure our workflow um, to change inputs at runtime. Um, so that's going to run in the background. While that does, let's head back to Comp UI and make some inputs. So in this workflow, let's say I wanted to have it so that the user, whoever that might be, um, is able to send in their own image uh, to do this image to image workflow. So for this, image is a good enough tag for me. We have a load image. We have what here is an external image. So this is a Comfy Deploy specific node. If I search external here, you'll see that we have a bunch of different data types, which we let you configure. Um, and basically you can create your API inside of the workflow. Be very specific about what you want to expose, what you don't. And this is um, our way of managing the complexity of this workflow. And so perhaps we want so that the prompt is also uh, available. Let's have this external text here. And you'll see that this is input image and this is text. These are the input IDs as to which to identify uh, this value, whenever you call it as an API. So I've done it here. I can queue again one more time and you'll see that it'll take the default values as it does. Uh, that's always useful so that you can actually play around and uh, use it inside of a Comfy deploy here in this. And so let's save a new version as we do. Expose prompt and image, create that, head back. And if we come to the request, you'll see that we're in V3 now. If I click run here, you can input your own image, have your own text. So like, let's do this to be green bottle instead, run that. You'll see that our API here just got run. Oh, that's a little weird, a little quirky. Um, and when it comes from the API, you'll be able to see the full logs. This is great for debugging to make sure that you know what actually happens uh, behind the scenes. Um, and if all goes well, we should see a green bottle output um, from here. And you'll notice this is using an A10G, not an A100. This is associated with the machine that you created. And again, Change that here if you'd like. Boom, save that, which I will not do for now. Oh, let's reset that. All right, okay, more more horror, more horror, fantastic. Um, fantastic, so this is the request. That's basically, we've gone the whole mile. Exported workflow from local, 
sent it into Comfy Deploy, gone through the onboarding, added the specifics of what we wanted, changed the checkpoint, uploaded our images, exposed inputs to create an API. Uh, last step is the deployment. So if I wanted to get this as an API, let's click deploy latest. I could choose staging or production. Let's do production, deploy here, and boom, just like that, I am able to play around with this. So I know that input image has a, um, has a default value, so I won't send in a, um, a URL because I don't have that handy, but let me send a request here. This lets you exa uh, basically like play around in our, in our little API uh, handler. Um, this gets starts this starts to run. You'll see that's marked by production, also in request. You see this as production. The inputs are what we sent, purple bottle, etc. Um, and yeah, we are good. We are live. We just went from local workflow to the cloud. Um, couple cool things here. We have the gallery, easy way to see all your outputs. Here you have the playground. This is just like a easier view instead of clicking that run button to usually people will send this off to other folks so that they can try it. Usually domain experts who perhaps don't know Comfy, but they do know what they're looking for. And um, the Comfy expert within the team builds out this workflow, exposes a couple inputs and says, for the text, try this out, um, You know, prompt how you want. This will either apply the same style or um, have some function that is specific uh, for a designer a product leader, um, someone less technical on the comfy side. And so yeah, that's the end to end um, of deploying a workflow on Comfy Deploy. Hope you found that helpful. If you're interested in integrating Comfy Deploy into your next project, we have an example repo and a video alongside it that uh, walks you through how to do so. Uh, I'll link it below.